Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, fortunately, I didn't get the chance to do the radio show today, so I'm just going to do like a quick video of what I'm going to talk about. Um, <clears throat> mainly like the comparisons between like what Raw, what happened yesterday with Monday Night Raw and what happened this past Friday on SmackDown is a little bit different. Of course, both shows were at the Performance Center, but... All the, um, you know, the programming that they had for both Raw and SmackDown. First, well, fortunately, it was more matches on SmackDown than they were on Raw, because Raw spent the whole, most of two hours just talking about the Royal Rumble. Then they only had, like, a few match. I think they only had, like, one or two matches, if I'm um, right. And at least with um with SmackDown, it has like, it had like three or four matches, but they didn't. They only had like um they talked about the SmackDown Tag Team Championship with um from the Elimination Chamber. So um and plus I find it kind of strange and weird that um that. There was no audience at the performance center, but I can understand why, because they don't want the um, coronavirus to spread or whatever the case may be. But you know what I'm saying. But um, overall, I thought SmackDown this past Friday was better than Raw was. Because I, I guess you just wanted to have like more matches than like stop showing like other like it's like what they're gonna do this Wednesday with um NXT or what they're gonna do with the um SmackDown back at the performance center. So I just think that um they just do, do need to do more better, just have at least like some matches or something like that. So with that said, let's talk about um Wait, I had... Now, Daniel, before you go crazy, let me explain. Yes, please change the way, huh? Continue with the show. See, now you know that uh, WrestleMania will be done at the Performance Center in Orlando. Which is, ooh, excuse me. Will be different where, you know, everybody... You know, they wrestling and nobody's going to be watching it, so... This is going to be interesting to see how they do this. Because there's going to be no WrestleMania weekend. Like, no access. No NXT takeover. Which, I think they should have changed that. If they're going to have a performance center, they should do NXT takeover at the performance center. So, I don't think they should cancel NXT. They should just, like, have them both at the performance center. I just think that they should do something different. But, um... Well, maybe maybe they'll figure out, like, later on, like, the last minute, they'll change it back and just put, like, NXT... Have it on the NXT TakeOver pay-per-view. On the, um... At the Performance Center. They should do that. But, um... And I think... It's going to be like April, like this month, April, and probably parts of May, they're not going to be touring from what it seems like. So, so, but, um, I think the thing is that they should do something about that, but. Anyways, let's move on. Oh, I lose my um, train of thoughts on some stuff. Um, I don't know how AEW and Impact Wrestling, I tried to watch it, but unfortunately I did end up getting rid of a channel, some channels. So I won't be able to watch that for a while. So I'll just get to watch on other things like... Oh, 
like on Fight TV or something like that. So probably gonna be able to watch that. Um, Ring of Honor had also mentioned that they're gonna have to cancel their shows for a while. Plus, they was gonna have a pay per view in April, but that's got canceled. So yeah, right now just like there's like not that much sports, but um WWE, but um I don't know if um AEW is gonna have their show. I know they're not gonna have their show here because it's been canceled, and WWE was supposed to be here in Milwaukee on March twenty eighth, so that's got canceled. So it's gonna be no wrestling, you know, like touring. For like a while now, and like events like with um other like indie wrestling, that's not probably gonna go on for like another thirty days. So that's just crazy. But um, like I said, if it wasn't for this virus, I just wish it just never existed or never happened. But. We can't always get what we want. But uh, I am showing the WrestleMania pay-per-view at my house, and everybody is welcome to come. Of course, there'll be some food and some stuff like that, so... And maybe some on raffle prizes, but we'll see. But um, anyways... This is probably all the time I'm going to spend on talking about a little bit of the show. I will go more, but I don't have that many minutes on the um, phone because I got too many um, videos on here that I need to start deleting. But until then, uh, Hazel runs on my first show is tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central Time, so hopefully we'll get that on time to check it out. Um, there will be no more... Um, WFS is all Bucks talk until the season gets back to normal, which will probably be either May or June. So, and plus, my show might happen this Friday if I remember. So, hopefully, you keep that in mind. But also, check out WrestlingFansSpeakOut.com. I mean, WrestlingFansSpeakOut.Weebly.com. Check that out. Look for us on Facebook. Follow our videos on here on YouTube. Like and subscribe. And follow us on Twitter. Until then, you have a good one.